this S14 looks like it came straight out of Japan. Awesome, love the chrome graphics on this one. Has the fitment, and this car is actually driven on track as well. You can see the Drift Matsuri banner there. So form and function, love the look of that thing. What's up guys and welcome to another brand new episode of the Drift Games Vlog. This weekend is a special one because we are in the north of Ireland. My voice is a little hoarse because it's so early in the morning. It's just six o'clock and the reason I got up this early before the event is because I got a chance to come in here as one of the organizers of the event to come and check out all the machinery on show at the JDM Car Culture Live 2019 show. Before all the people get here, and in many ways there's a lot more cars to come in about an hour's time. But because there was nobody here and it was really quiet, I thought this was a great opportunity to take the camera and jump around the arena and check out some of the amazing JDM Metal on show this weekend. this GS300. VIP style, really, really cool. I like the way inside they've gone for, you know, all those little VIP flare stuff from Japan. They even got a pot of champagne in there. Fitment is exceptional, check that out. Perfect on the back of this car. So this is the GS450H, the hybrid petrol, which tax is ridiculous in Ireland for, so I'm respecting this one. But check out this, another Lexus, this one I really like. This one actually looks very much like it's very subtly done. There's actually quite a bit of work there. You can obviously coilovers, BBS wheels, really nicely finished. And another Toyota in the corner, Toyota Soar, old school Soar. Nice car, this. I like the yellow tint on the windows. It looks really, really, really slick. The awesome thing about Ireland is JDM cars because obviously we drive right-hand drive in Ireland. Some of the coolest Japanese imports in the world have ended up, especially in Europe, have ended up in Ireland. So every year you get these shows where you kind of see stuff that you're not too sure even existed in Ireland any before. Like this Stadia. This is pretty sweet. 434 GTR front end conversion on raised wheels. These are not the prettiest of cars to start with, but the R34 conversion is now so popular. And I like this, it's kind of a, a green, like an off green on the raised engineering wheels, which is really interesting and different. And then you have nice touches like the carbon license plate holder, the carbon bonnet, GTR front end, as I mentioned, really, really nice. This is a really, really nice, beautiful Evo 10. So an interesting little selection of Hondas here. The Honda C or V, at least that's what it's called. Not too many of these in Ireland, actually. C or Z, my mistake. C or Z, like a small hatchback, sort of harking back to the early days of the small Hondas, which were all the rage now for a while. Then we have a quite race inspired 5 Zegan EG Civic, and getting rare now, an original Civic from 1988, I think this one is. Really nice though, super clean. Nice day outside too, it's gonna be a good day for the show. Or 35 GTR. It's like a Nismo edition, pretty rare. And an R33, this one is, the R33 is not the most sought after Skyline, but this one is done absolutely perfect. These Toyota Starlet Glanzas, very popular in Ireland for the last 10, 15 years. Pocket Rockets, 1.3 turbos, lots of these in Ireland. Very nice wide arch S15, full BN Sports, the JZX here. Now the JZX, this actually car is a really, really nice color. It's like a flip pearlescent, pearlescent. It's like a flip pearlescent, nice fitment. Really, really nice car. This now, I'm really into, look at that. That is a really, really nice car. Well done, nice kit, nice stance, nice color. GT86 in red, this one is on the floor. Check that out. 
These are still a very rare car. A lot of people around the world are quite used to the GT86, but in Ireland, they actually cost a fortune. So they were similar, similar money in Ireland, you know, to very expensive cars. These were 45,000 euro, which put them in the same bracket as an E-Class Mercedes or something ridiculously expensive. So there wasn't too many sold actually in Ireland. They're just about becoming affordable now for a lot of guys. I like the way this one has a Scion badge from the US. Nice little touch. Toyota Alteza, really nice Alteza. And you know what, a lot of these are done not that nice. This one here is absolutely beautiful. This thing looks incredible. I like that kit. I think this one, I mean, it'd be hard to imagine this is road driven with this kind of uh, height, but if it is, fair play. But I think this one could be on airbags, which is very, very cool. Look at the fitment here on the rear fenders on these 720 wheels, like that. Ain't bad at all. This is one of the finest cars in here, I think. Look at that. My old car is back in action. It's actually sitting a little high now because this car has full airbag suspension since I owned it. We built this car two years ago. 350Z with the full rocket bunny except for the front bumper, which we left. Sort of a US style. This car now has airbags. Its airbags are left up at the moment, so this thing goes way lower than it's sitting now. It's just left up overnight, but it's still looking as good as when we put this together for the cannonball two years ago. Shot to me doing burnouts in this very car. Some of these cars, as you can see, polished up yesterday and just left under some protective. Well, it's a really, really original GTR there. Evo 5, this one has a full cage inside, if I look so yeah, they put a full, full FIA cage in there. Give it that rally look. This is a road registered car though. And look at this, this guy went all out with the HKS livery on his JZX and I really like this. A lot of guys in Ireland are now starting to put these old school liveries on Toyotas and Nissans and I think that looks incredible. I think that's really, really cool. All about going a little bit outside the box. MX-5. It's a really clean one actually, and it even says simply clean. Because it is simply clean. Very, very nice looking car. A couple more Evos. We'll try and gather as much as we can as we take a little walk around on the Civic Type R. Looking very nice. Look at this thing. These actually look really menacing, don't they? Nice subtle adjustments to this car. Pretty crazy MX-5. This one gets a lot of attention. Just the livery is just so out the box, but also so is the camber. Check out the camber on this car on the rear wheels. That is pretty insane. Really, really nice little MX-5. A nice S15, nice and simple white S15 here. I like this one a lot too. Check that out. This is just too much to look at everywhere, right? We've got some really nice Impreza's. There's a type or in there. There's a very mad blue one in there and the Subaru guys have all covered their cars up. Check out this 180SX here. Really, really subtly well done. I mean, I must say that, you know, years ago, a lot of these cars that shows were a bit OTT, but right now we're just seeing some really subtle mods on some classics like this GTR. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous R34 GTR. Evolution 9 MR. Now, we'll just take a little tour on this side of the hall. That's a Cresta, if I'm not mistaken, or a Laurel. I always get those two mixed up. I think that is a Laurel. Really, really nice. TC5 in nice blue. This thing is beautiful. Or 34. I'm not sure if this is a GTR. If it's not, it's a very, very good replica. And it's absolutely spotless. Looks like it was just freshly painted. 34. Nice carbon bits on all these. It's like this carbon vent. This, carbon, this is a really, really nice 34. Have a look over here. Got another Laurel, if I'm not mistaken. Really, really, really nice. Subtly done. Nice fitment on SSRs. Looks really awesome. Nice to see some MR2s. Haven't seen a good MR2 in a long time. This one's quite nicely done. Kind of a matte finish. 33 GTST. The Civic really caught my eye earlier. Look at that. Really LA style and perfect fitment all around. Again, I presume on airbags, because that is pretty ridiculous. Yeah, it's on airbags. You can see the 
tank through the window in the back. A nice Civic Type bore. Look at this S14. Really, really nice. This is just beautiful cars everywhere. Start at GT Turbo. Look at this thing. All bright interior. Vented wings. I haven't seen many in this level of modification. And these are starting to get really, really cool now. This is 14. Looks sick. Look at these canards on the rear. Just something different. Really nice fitment too. And this IS220 maybe? Or 250? Some interesting wheel nuts going on. I'm gonna get sidetracked. I'm gonna try and stay on track. Make sure I can show you guys everything. With a really nice S15. Love the color on this. It's like a like a burnt orange. Really nice. Another starlet. The starlet started making a comeback. And some of these were done so poorly back in the day, but this one is gorgeous. Type R and Preza, they're getting pretty rare these days. And very clean Honda Integra DC2 Type R. Civic Type R S2000, it's very subtly done S2000, I quite like that. Check this thing out, one of these CRZs. This one's got like a rocket buddy kit. Very, very cool car on works wheels. Not rare you'd see one to this level, full race car spec inside. But has a registration, so it's a road car, which looks like a touring car. Very, very odd car. I really like this, something completely different. Now look at this, remember this? from one of our previous vlogs with Martin C. It's his recovery truck with the Boss Ozoku Nissan Bluebird on the back. Looking good as ever, but he's finished his bike as well. We saw this in the vlog. He was just putting this together a couple of weeks ago and it looks like he got it done in time. Very cool. Look at this. Wow. This PS13 has had a couple of different facelifts and looks over the years, but it's always been one of the nicest cars in Ireland. Always one of my favorite. Chrissy, the, guys, the guy that owns this actually, Crashed this on the way to a show a year or two ago. And the guys down here, you might check it out on the Juice Box vlog. We've got a really, really cool channel in Ireland called Juice Box. And they were flipped from Juice Box was putting this together. And it looks incredible. The car gets better looking every single time I see it. Really nice Evo 5. Let's check out this 34, which I was distracted. Four door. This, I really like the look of this car. It's just really well done with the lip splitters, canards. Really nice SSR wheels, just subtly done, but the pearlescent paint in the sunshine in the morning looks incredible. Look, this S14 looks like it came straight out of Japan. Awesome, love the chrome graphics on this one. Has the fitment, and this car is actually driven on track as well. You can see the Drift Matsuri banner there, so that one, form and function. Love the look of that thing. Got a DC5, this one looking pretty aggressive. Rear camber, camber fitment there. Look at that. Awesome. That's has a nice uh, the four light model of the Integra DC2. So not too many of those left back around again. Some hidden gems in Ireland as always. And look at this. This S15 absolutely on the floor on work equip. Look at that, absolutely on the floor. Not so much, definitely took an archer at the back. This is like ridiculously low. But very cool, all the same. Now we catch another Alteza. Very subtly done. A lot of Altezas in the north of Ireland. That one is one of the better ones in the country, I think. Really, really cool. So it's actually a very unusual colour. Quite like that. Something a little bit different. Really nice uh, MX-5 here. Really well done. like the whole setup he's got going on here. Beige interior, Nardi steering wheel, and a boss kit. So you can take it off. It looks like this is a, an absolute polished with love underneath the bonnet as well. Really, really nice car. I like this one a lot. And this car, I really like. This green S14. Look at the fitment on the rear end of this. This guy drove the car here like this. So, I mean, if you know the roads in Ireland, it ain't easy having cars at this static ride height. This thing looks gorgeous. I'm not sure if that's a standard color on that car, but it does not too sure, but it actually looks really, really well. That's a really cool car. Civic, plenty of engine work done. Check that out. Really, really nice. Another Evo 6. Another Evo. You got Evos everywhere. And this is what we've got so far. Check out this Toyota Corolla. This is a very, as we would call it, Irish spec. Toyota Corolla Twin Cam A86. 
absolutely immaculate. Looks like it's just been finished for the show. And you know what? Something a little bit different. You can play Pac-Man on the bonnet of this Integra DC2. All right, guys, thanks for checking out another episode of the Drift Games vlog. This is a pretty special one because we got to check out this entire hall before the doors even open, which gives us lots of time, space without all the people around, and it's going to be absolutely packed here later today. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell on and subscribe so we can remind you every time we put cool videos like this together. We've got another part of this. We've got a part two where we check out the classic JDM hall and get to look at the cars there before the public arrive. Alright guys, we got a little sneak peek now at the classic hall. A little bonus feature for you. All the cars that are supposed to be in this hall are not here yet, but there are some very special machines here. And I wanted to get a quick look around before all the crowds arrived here at the JCC show. Hello, Bane. Bane is doing all the fancy shots that you can see in this video. So if you're wondering how we shoot this, I'm shooting on a GoPro and Bane has a very big GoPro. And he's checking out David Coleman's Pandam R32. And the car got a really nice R32. This, look at this bright yellow NSX. Looks like nearly standard spec. Getting very rare and very expensive now. Perfect condition NSX. That car is very, very rare. I really like this. The NSX is one of those weird cars where it just never gets old. It actually gets better looking every time I see it. This one in the yellow with the offset graphite wheels. Really, really nice, very clean MR2. Again, these guys seem to be just kind of going for a Standard, very, very clean concourse look to their cars like that. Yellow Honda Civic. We got a Nissan Fairlady Z. Chap import version of the 300ZX. I presume a Subaru. I don't know what's under there. Nice Toyota Supra. These are also getting better looking every year as well. Probably going to get very rare soon as well. Really nice example of a Toyota Supra. Some completely original looking Honda Civics, which are starting to look very, very cool now. This, this looks like a Completely stock five door and a completely stock three door. Many are left in this condition. Not that many, I would imagine. And EF Civic. And this one, Gloria, if I'm not mistaken. It's a really, really nice car as well. Subaru Impreza. That's a really nice color combo. Another car that's getting pretty rare in this specification. WRX STI. Check this thing out. And again, I don't know what this is, so I'm gonna to have to go to, it's a twin cam, so it's obviously a Toyota, Toyota Carina, old Toyota Carina. Really, really nicely done. And the work equips, looks very, very cool. So that's the Carina. I think this is another level of Carina, or next, the next generation Carina beside it. Another very rare car. That's a Carina too, and then another Carina. So there's like three Carinas, three generations of Carinas like this. So you've got this generation, followed by this generation, followed by this generation. And these are actually getting quite popular in Ireland now. They used to be kind of cars for old men and farmers to drive, but now they're becoming a bit of a rare, a rare car. This one has done really, really nice. Check out this Civic. Now this is what you call a show car. Bright blue, look at this. Wire tuck, every nut and bolt. I really like the details like this. Really, really cool. That is a 
very well put together show car. I want to thank you guys for watching another episode of the Drift Games vlog. What did you think? What was your favorite car in the hall? Which car blew you away? Which would you take home if you could take the keys to any car here in the hall? And I don't know. I think... No. I, I couldn't even decide. We'll let you guys decide in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.